Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a good day. Let's talk for a second about AI agents. So I wanted to show you that this is just incredible. So we've got this. This is a fairly involved workflow of an AI agent. But what's really cool about this is this. The I think this guy is Nick. I think is Nick Herc. I think is his name. He anyway. He has got some really good information out there on on building AI agents with this no code tool called N. Eight in, and I just wanted to show you this. This is really cool. So, the heart of of every agent, right? Every agent has must have one thing. One well, it must have a few things. It has to have three things. But at the heart, at the brain, let's call it the brain. The brain of every of every AI agent, right? What if I can draw a brain? Yeah, not bad. The brain, the brain of every AI agent, right, is an LLM. Right, and we know now that there are what I don't know. What are there fifty LLMs? Uh, maybe not that many, but there are quite a few, and they're just going to get more and more. Right, everyone's got their own. Well, that's good and bad. Makes it harder to pick, right? But also, we have LLMs now that are being built for everything, and some are better than others, and some are better than others at whatever it is that you might be doing. Right, they own all of them have their own niche. All right, I guess, you, what is a niche? Anyway, you get the idea. So what this specific agent does right here is it picks its own brain. And what it does is look at the, so whatever's coming in here as the, based on the user input, it selects the best brain for the task. I mean, how awesome is that? And then you can see, I think what it, I think this creates calendars. Or what's he doing? Creating events and message search. Uh, yeah, here, this is a calendar event. So it picks the right tool. Now this has other benefits, right? Another one is price. These, none of these agents are free, right? They're charge you every time you use them. If you want to use someone's LLM, they're going to charge you. Well, this also picks the most affordable LLM. So you don't need maybe for this particular workflow you don't need the big dogs maybe you need i think that someone's got a, a one called a like it's like a chat micro or something right and that'll do the job and it costs significantly less all right so again just incredible i think these na agents really are the future again the only bad part is that these these low code tools right now aren't being accepted by companies like they if you want to work like say you want to build agents right now uh it's gonna have to be i think i've already said this through fiverr or upwork or somewhere else you're not gonna be able to let's say you were an expert in this tool right you're not gonna be able to take this and go get a job like at any big company because they're gonna want you to know how to do all this via code right i mean remember this these are large language models these are natural language processing under that umbrella. And they're really machine learning models. They're really deep learning models, right? It's really deep learning. So they want you to be able to build the model or this workflow in Python with all the necessary libraries. All right, kind of stupid, I know, but just the way it is. But I did want to show you uh, just how incredible uh, some of these tools are becoming, right? And just what some people are doing with them. All right, now let's jump over to my post on entry-level tech jobs it came out yesterday if you are not a part of the community it's free please go sign up it's the data janitor i'll put a link in the comment section just go ahead and sign up and and join us um so we talked about here um so i just said i'm not a doom and gloom guy with that said the data doesn't look good so the, this is something the gap between the overall employment level uh, of recent college grads reached an all-time high all right, that, that's simply not good. So what can you do? Like, these are all, it's all pretty bad news. Well, what you can do is you can be, well, most of you are on the right track anyway. You're already ahead of your peers, right? Because they believe that data analysts take courses on Coursera and they go get jobs, right? <laughs> they don't even know what the data analyst role is. You at least know what you need to do. You know, you need to study SQL. You know, you need to study Power BI. You need these certifications and you need this on your resume you even know um here if you click this you even know the format of the resume so i've given you everything all you have to do is learn it right so i have another blog come out tomorrow 
that talks about how you, I break all this down. Like, so this is really tomorrow's blog where I tell you everything and what the important points are of the big three things that you need to know, right? The big three are Transact, Power BI, and Azure, well, really Fabric, because Fabric is Microsoft's new data centralization platform. And it's, look at the, it's $30 with that code. All right, so what was I getting at? Obviously, I'm trying to plug my courses, but I was getting at the thing that gives you an edge is that you know this, and two, that the thing that's going to give you an edge for interviews is the knowledge, right? I'm telling you the importance of uh, knowing the basics of all these. That's what's going to get you past the interview, right? A lot of people come in and they're like, you know, they don't, they've not even prepared. They've not studied. Right? You, you know now that that's not an option. You know that you're going to have to study. You know that you're going to have to know SQL and Power BI and be able to regurgitate anything asked about these in a technical interview. All right. And, and here are the steps. All right. So all you got to do is follow it. I mean, it's, it's that simple. So knowledge is going to be that thing that differentiates you from everyone else. If you have any comments or concerns or whatever, you can go put them in uh, the YouTube, whatever the current YouTube video is, and I'll see if I can answer them or argue with you or whatever you want me to do.